tired of like classifying people but this big barbarian clearly she looking for love in all the wrong places this is like some freak show it's definitely giving short bus shawty only that have been to prison can with your crazy ass <laughs> the thoughts views and opinions expressed by fat liver jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts if you're seeking factual information we strongly encourage you to do your own research much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? Back at it. Once again, you know what time it is. Rants with Aunt Damn It. We're talking about Kendra G. I know I said I wasn't going to really do these videos, but I mean, y'all like the other one, so I figured why not give you another one? And this one is a goodie, though, because I saw this girl originally on an older video. And so this is more or less like a follow up story, but it's fucking hilarious because this girl, or this stallion, I don't know. Yo, check it out. I remember, yo, let me tell you something. Kendra, you don't remember me, and I be genuinely not remembering them. But I remember your ass, girl. I remember you was the one that want to put the men on your shoulders as you give them head. So, you heard that. Kendra really only remembers her because this girl stood out. Other than the fact that she's like 6'3", I want to know what the fuck happened to her. So, are you the, are you the Baltimore version of Megan the Stallion? No. <laughs> then why you find B more Stallion? I mean, I'm 6'3". Okay. Um, I consider myself a stallion. One moment. <laughs> you know a stallion is a male horse, right? I, I don't know. Whatever, man. Okay, what's your name, baby? My name Raven. Raven, where you calling me from? Baltimore. Baltimore, how old are you? 28. 28. How many tattoos you have? How many piercings you have? Word. I need to get into this. How many tattoos you have? Um, let me see. What? I got a lot. I do tattoos, Kendra. You do Holy tattoos, shit. okay. Got a lot going on. Yeah, it's a lot going okay. on. Remember what I told y'all about women with chest tattoos, right? <laughs> what right. are you looking for? I want me a tall man, a little older. Um, he gotta have a little package down there. More on a freaky side. Like, she's just looking for dick. I don't think she's really looking for love. But then again, I guess love is what you make it. Oh, he gotta be a freak to be with you. Yes, because I'm a freak. I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, child, she's a freak, she said. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Last night, this what? morning. Get the, hold on. <laughs> Yo, no way. So you was just smashing some dude and now you're here on this show. You can't tell me she's looking for love. You're looking for extra dicks. Like, this is sick. Irresponsibly fucking. Why are you not with that guy? That was my first time meeting up with him. Are you being serious, Baltimore? I'm so serious. I had sex with him right here on this couch. Okay, why Look, are you being serious? The makeup's still right there. You see Ew. it? Okay, right. No, this dirty bitch didn't. I forgot about that. She is on the same couch that she smashed the dude in last night. Why are you up here looking for love? Where's her family at? Somebody got to give her a hug, something. Why do you want to be this much of a hoe? <laughs> Why do you want to be this much of a hoe? A hoe? Yeah. Yes. I'm being Look, you saw she had a brain glitch right there. <laughs> she was like, who's the hoe? <laughs> You told me you just met a man last night that you just slept on went on the couch that you calling me and looking for a new man right now. That's whole activities. Word. You don't get no more hoer than that. That's whole one on one. Kendra, I'm being I'm a court, baby girl. You said you met him yesterday, had sex I with said, him on the couch met, that I'm you calling me that. on. That's the hoe. All right, so we got to Kendra is giving them kickback. So the last video I did made it seem like that Kendra was being way more compassionate, but like she's actually giving like pushback. You're not looking for love. You're looking to get fucked. And any man that wipes you up based off of this, oh, I don't know, man. This might be a kink for somebody, so I ain't gonna hate. I ain't kink shaming. Y'all do y'all, but this is fucking nuts. I could be a hoe sometimes. I'm gonna admit <laughs> that. But I knew the guy or whatever. We just met up last night and I had sex with him. It was good too. But we, 
we gotta get there but i don't and now and now you where the, fu- where the fuck are we going where are you trying to get that don't make no goddamn sense here in baltimore like i be i need to do a class or whatever kendra before we get off of here i'll be oh, putting fuck. men on my shoulders right uh-huh we do and, what yeah i put men on my shoulders oh, okay and uh-huh. do the little thing the thing and stuff and they never had that before so the fuck? wait so the guy's legs is it between your face yeah, so I put them right wow. here where I'm holding their ass, <laughs> and then I'm oh, this sucking their Amazon bitch. <laughs> I forgot this was the Amazon bitch. Blur it out. I don't know if I can say this, but I put them up in the air and I be giving them heat like this in the air. But you have to be a certain weight limit. <laughs> At least you know her limits. What the fuck is wrong with this girl? This ain't Kendra's fault. This girl right here was just being way too honest and open. Even with the pushback that Kendra was giving, this girl ain't give a fuck. She is who she is. But you should try. Well, you too little, but girl, <laughs> hey, we got to go. Yes. <laughs> so what happened after you were on the show? All right, you probably gonna say something today, yo. I got an update. I'm in a relationship. Mm. Okay, is he with you? No. Did he meet you from the show? We he seen it. He saw it. Okay. He did see it, but he ain't bring it up to me. So she's in a relationship now. The guy that she's in a relationship with, he didn't meet her from this show, but he saw the show. It's a little weird. Sounds like a little stalkerish, maybe. I don't know. Like... Tell me that, or was there more? Because you are the top. I mean, of the kicker is, the kicker is, he just came out of jail. But he in like the halfway. <laughs> he didn't ask me how. Listen, I mean, I had to do some time in order to date your ass. He like... did 13. <laughs> Yo, get your roll. Only niggas that been to prison can fuck with your crazy ass. <laughs> I mean, she is the size of a fucking wrestler. Like, that's a big bitch. <laughs> Locked up for a minute in order to handle you. And he be handling me. Yeah, it takes some jail time to handle you. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Nah, for real though, I respect that. The honesty is 6'3. You big as shit. You be picking little niggas up, giving them top. That's crazy. Giving a nigga top, taking them up top. Pause. That's crazy. You gotta do a good, you gotta do a good five, six year bit. Damn. Listen, but- a woman like you. When did y'all meet? In July, I think I was on here in August. No, I mean not August. Um, you was on here, I think, in March. In March, in March, yeah. I smoked some weed, so I'm a little discombobulated. Oh okay. shit! I went to a pool party, right, and gave an example for you. I did that just for you in front of all these people at a pool party. I tagged you in it, and you didn't see it. Wait, hold on. You gave a man head at a pool party for me? I ain't give him the head part, but I put him on the shoulders. Oh, she picked the nigga up. Was he facing your face? Yes. Okay, hold on. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it up so the cousins can see. Cause we all family. They want to see what I'm about to see. And my man on there too. I don't see it. Be more stallion underscore backup page. Yes. Yeah, y'all niggas with the backup pages. <laughs> y'all just doing the most. You that wild on Instagram that you gotta have a backup page? I wonder why I might be shadow banned. Wait, I don't see the guy. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I did that. She really did pick this nigga up. What the fuck? Hold on. Run that shit back real quick. Hold on. Yeah. What? Look I did at that, that shit. For you. Just for you. She really got this nigga up in the air. Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> at the pool party. He seemed, he seemed short. Yeah, but he cocky. He was slow. He was heavy. I was drunk as shit. <laughs> Yo, this big barbarian bitch. This is like some freak show shit. Low key, she could probably make way more money if she just went on the road doing shit like that. Clearly, she looking for love in all the wrong places, but she got a man. So how is your man okay with this shit, though? Now, with your man, do you do this with him? Word. No, so like, I'm kind of like delivered now. Wait, what? You found the Lord? Allah, he he Muslim. Oh, oh you found shit. A- oh, you a Muslim now. <laughs> God, I already knew God, but he just be teaching me so much stuff. You telling the truth? <laughs> it's hard to take anything that she says serious. 
apparently she's in love. She's got a man, but she out here picking other niggas up. He be getting me out. That's the man right there? That's the yeah. man? Yeah. Yes. He's a Muslim? Yes. So y'all don't have sex? Listen, he not, we don't, he be, that's why I like him. He not, he not so pressed to, you know, get in a pants. Have y'all had sex? We had sex. We got sex. Okay, y'all <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I'm tired of, like, classifying people, but it's definitely giving short bus shorty. So he saw you on the show, but he didn't mention it until after. No, he was like, that was crazy and all this other stuff. I'm like, why would he say he didn't know what he was watching? I'm like... Okay, so I guess after they got together, he told her about it. I mean, I guess it's not weird. If you like her, you like her, or you love her, or whatever. Like, I'm not judging on that. And actually, I think I am judging the whole fucking situation. But it's not, like, personal. It's all for entertainment purposes. Like, no disrespect. But this shit is wild. If you, like, saw her say all of that shit, he's going to see this. So he's going to see that you still out here lifting niggas up over the shoulders. And that was this past summer, because that was at a pool party. Everybody was wilding. And here you go trying to fucking get cuffed up before cuffing season comes. And I'm delivered now. I mean... Yeah, you deliver, deliver what? He said, girl, you deliver hey, yo. Chinese food. You de deliver what? Uber Eats? Hey, yo, Kendra, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> you deliver what? What the entire fuck is going on here? Listen, I guess, you know, it's never too late to turn over a new leaf. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Trying to Remember, be a better the woman. Mail. You delivered the mail. Oh, I'm trying shit. to be a better woman because even though know, my man, he said I'm a little, he, he said I'm real masculine, but I'm I'm working on it. I told y'all, dude, the girls with the, the chest tattoos, watch out for them motherfuckers. They don't play by normal girl rules. They different. All in all, yo, this girl was wild. And, like, not for nothing, she did find love. This actually goes to prove the point that there's somebody for everybody out there. So don't take what I'm saying, like, to the heart. I actually take it with a grain of salt, like we say in the beginning. Refer to the tag. Now, I want to know how this shit's going to play out once this video gets out. Now, was she honest with him and upfront about the whole situation? I don't know. We probably will never know. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm out, yo.